Good evening, welcome to Evening Prayer. Today the church remembers the ministry of Thomas Ken, Bishop of Bath and World, non-juror hymn writer, 1711. The words are there for you to see. Basically, a bit of a good egg, a man of integrity, a man who actually is an example to us all. Perhaps you'll we'll take a look at the end of this on the recording and maybe have a look at all that he is and all that he did but it's rather impressive some of the people we remember and celebrate in our minor commemorations and such so let's come before the lord and pray O oh god make speed to save us O oh lord make haste, haste to, to help us, us. O oh god will you not give us life again that your people may rejoice in you Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. Righteousness shall go before him, and direct his steps in the way. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, Son, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and shall, shall be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 33 Let the godly sing for joy to the Lord. It is fitting for the pure to praise him. Praise the Lord with melodies on the lyre, make music for him on the ten-stringed harp. Sing a new song of praise to him, play skilfully on the harp and sing with joy. For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. He loves whatever is just and good. The unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. The Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. He breathed the word and all the stars were born. He assigned the sea its boundaries and locked the oceans in vast reservoirs. Let the whole world fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. For when he spoke the world began, it appeared at his command. The Lord frustrates the plans of the nations and thwarts all their schemes. But the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength, it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and shall be forever. Amen. Joshua 21, verse 43, to chapter 22, verse 8. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land he had sworn to give their ancestors, and they took possession of it and settled there. 
and the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had solemnly promised their ancestors. None of their enemies could stand against them, for the Lord helped them conquer all their enemies. Not a single one of all the good promises the Lord had given to the family of Israel was left unfulfilled. Everything he had spoken came true. Then Joshua called together the tribes of Reuben, Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh. He told them, You have done as Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, and you have obeyed every order I have given you. During all this time you have not deserted the other tribes. You have been careful to obey the command of the Lord your God right up to the present day. And now the Lord your God has given the other tribes rest as he promised them. So go back home to the land that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you as your possession on the east side of the Jordan River. But be very careful to obey all the commands and the instructions that Moses gave you. Love the Lord your God, walk in all his ways, obey his commands, hold firmly to him and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. So Joshua blessed them and sent them away and they went home. Moses had given the land of Bashan east of the Jordan River to the half-tribe of Manasseh. The other half of the tribe was given land west of the Jordan. As Joshua sent them away and blessed them, he said to them, Go back to your homes with the great wealth you've taken from your enemies, the vast herds of livestock, the silver, gold, bronze and iron, and the large supply of clothing. Share the plunder with your relatives. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. I, I saw, saw the, the holy, holy city coming, coming down, down out, out of, of heaven, heaven from, from God. God. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And the one who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. To the, the one, one who, who sits, sits on the throne and to the, the Lamb, be blessing, blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. I, I saw, saw the, the holy city coming down, down out of heaven from, from God. God. Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Then someone called from the crowd, Teacher, please tell my brother to divide our father's estate with me. Jesus replied, Friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Then he said, Beware. Guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Then he told them a story. A rich man had a fertile farm that produced fine crops. He said to himself, what should I do? I don't have room for all my crops. Then he said, I know, I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll have enough room to store all my wheat and other goods. And I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have stored away enough for years to come. Now take it easy, eat, drink and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, you will die this very night. Then who will get everything you worked for? Yes, a person is a fool to store up earthly wealth, but not have a re rich relationship with God. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will make you ruler over much. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory Glory to to the the Father and and to the Son and to the the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and and shall shall be be forever. forever. Amen. Well done, good and faithful servant. You You have been faithful over a little. I will make you ruler over much. Father, we thank you that as the sun moves to the west and the day draws into its last moments, its last part. Father, we thank you for all this day has contained. We thank you for the blessings and the joy and the challenges of the day. We thank you for the people who have made us smile and have blessed us as we heard good news and father we thank you for those this day who have known your presence in a special way a way that has enabled and overcome their troubles and the troubles of those around them so father we bring to you this evening and all that it is all that it will be and ask that you would bless us in this last part that you would make us thoughtful of you and of those we know with needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer.
Father, we continue to pray for the situation in Myanmar, a country that is still under military rule. And as questions are asked about the deaths of two of the opposition government who have died while in jail. Lord, we pray that the international community would not turn away or forget. Lord, we pray for the remaining government members who are still under house arrest. Father, we pray for all parts of the world where military oppression has taken the place of democratic rule. And we pray for those countries where there is unrest and dissatisfaction with government. as seems to be the case pretty much everywhere at the moment. Mm. Well, people are unhappy, people are unsettled. We know the pandemic has a lot to do with that, but Father, we just are aware that there is a great unrest in our world. Lord, we pray for your hand and your spirit to be at work, to use that unrest for good, to bring change where change is needed, but not just change for change's sake. Lord, we pray that unjust, oppressive and immoral governments would be shaken up, removed, turned around. Lord, we pray where there is no integrity, where there is hypocrisy in government. That there would be a new level of transparency, honesty mm. and a new desire to live rightly and to rule wisely. That we may know your peace. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear uh, our prayer. And Father, we pray for those we know who need prayer tonight. We pray for Maureen Williams back in hospital. As the chemotherapy takes a toll on her body. We pray for Morag that she would be released from hospital soon and allowed to return home. <coughs> we pray for all who are ill tonight or just feeling under the weather. Mm. Those who maybe are tired. Those who are in pain. Those who are suffering with minor infections and illnesses. As well as those whose daily condition is one of pain and illness and suffering. Lord, we pray that all would experience your healing power. 
your sustaining power and your abiding peace. Mm -hmm. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O God, from whom all blessings flow, by whose providence we are kept and by whose grace we are directed, help us, through the example of your servant Thomas Ken, faithfully to keep your word, humbly to accept adversity, and steadfastly to worship you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. us. Lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being with us. Have a pleasant evening. Take care. Bye. Bye.